What's up, my people? And I'm just going to get straight to the point. This video is about increasing performance for your PC VR game plan. If you take 10 minutes of your time, you will thank me later. The solutions are not hard, but it was not handed to me all in one place like I will show you in this video. So when I first started playing the PC VR games on my computer, I had intentionally got a PC that I knew was VR capable. So when I started playing, for instance, playing Silver Tree, I was noticing FPS drops, uh, stuttering, it was just mad stuttering. Uh, of course I'm using a wireless connection virtual desktop, so we're going to be um, helping people with wireless uh, connections and this can work for Airlink too to achieve better optimization so you can get butter smooth gameplay. And I'm telling you from experience, it was horrible gameplay and I turned it completely around. I'm not running the latest and greatest computer either, so straight to the biz, let's get it. Tip one, this is the very first thing I did when doing any gaming is activating the PC Ultimate Power Plan. It helps a lot for gamers because it allows the PC to run at full potential without idle times. This plan is normally hidden and must be manually added using command prompt. Here, I'll show you on the next slide. Open command as administrator and run this power configuration command. It's linked in the description below. Once you do that, you can go into choose power plan and choose ultimate mode. Now you can use this while gaming only, or you can use it when doing productivity. Tip two, I strongly recommend this step to all gamers actually. Um, and that would be to download a program called Process Lasso. Have you ever wanted your PC to switch between ultimate mode whenever you run a certain app or game? Well, this app does that. It allows setting the CPU affinity and hyper-threading per app automatically. You also can assign power profiles to specific games. Best of all, interlocks an exclusive power plan, bits some highest performance. This is tested to be faster than ultimate plan. I have linked gameplay results proving this in the description. Open browser. Search process lasso. Open the page and press the blue button to download process lasso. I went ahead and purchased the full version, but you can try the trial first, just like I did. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and install it. Um, leave all the ins installation settings to default and confirm the directory location of your choice. Once it's finished installing, you want to open Process Lasso. If you get a trial prompt, just bypass the message. On the main page of Process Lasso, first thing you want to do is go to Main at the top and make sure Pro Balance is enabled. Now you want to open the game that you want to tweak settings for. The game must be opened. Go back to Process Lasso and you can search the game. On the right, find it in the list. Now the next steps involve seven settings you need to change in Process Lasso to get the best performance when running this game. Right click on the game once you found it in the list and we're going to be tweaking the following. CPU priority and IO priority need to be set always high. Now you want to set the game's CPU affinity. Right click on the game, choose CPU affinity, go to always, and disable hyperthreading. Really, any gamer should know by now that hyperthreading does not help games because it's better for games to run on physical cores. Also, if you are using Alder Lake or any other processor that uses efficiency cores, then you will want to take advantage of the Choose CPU Affinity option. Here, you can disable all efficiency cores to help game compatibility. Games tend to get confused with efficiency cores. If you want your game to only use four cores, which is a popular setting, only choose zero through eight only. Next, you want to set the Avocation Power Profile to bid some highest performance. Keep note that this performance plan may not be available until you activate the Ultimate Power Plan from tip one. Next, you want to go into your CP limiter and make the following rule that you see.
Next, right click and go down to induce performance mode. Make sure it is checked. Last setting, right click, go down to more and make sure disable idle saver is checked. That's all the tweaks. You must close and restart the game for the changes to take effect. Before closing process lasso, you want to go to options at the top. Then general, choose configure startup. I use default settings. You can change to your liking. Just make sure you choose next and finish. This will make sure process lasso starts properly so it can function automatically. You can close process lasso now. If you are prompted, do not close the governor so process lasso can run in the background. Tip 3. Open NVIDIA control panel. On global settings, go to adjust image setting with preview tab and select use the advanced 3D image settings. Tap, take me there. Turn on image scaling. I use default. You can play with this if you like. This will render the game at a lower resolution and then upscale it. Next great step for VR players, especially if you're heavy on mods, scroll down to shader cache size and set it at 10 gigabytes. Next, go to program settings and choose your game. Set low latency mode to ultra. Set power management mode to prefer max performance. Set vertical sync off. Apply changes. That's all for NVIDIA control panel. If you experience stuttering or some kind of effect on FPS, turn low latency mode off. Tip 4. Open virtual desktop streamer app from PC. Basically leave everything to default. If you change anything, make sure preferred codec is set to auto and automatically adjust bitrate is checked. You may read online to change these, but leave them alone if you are experiencing lag and FPS drops. When dealing with wireless gameplay, we ideally want to have good graphics with great performance. When we are done tweaking, I recommend you experiment with different bit rates only if PC has additional headroom. We are now moving on to the virtual desktop settings inside the headset. First, go to settings. You can leave use optimal resolution checked. On my laptop, this causes it to get stuck at 60 hertz refresh rate. Okay, next. Set the environment quality to low. Select 60 or 72 FPS. There's no need for the desktop to use GPU resources unless you need it to. Do not touch the desktop bitrate. Set dynamic lighting to disabled. Next, go to streaming. Set rendering scale to low or medium depending on your graphic card. Select 80 FPS. Leave bitrate and sharpening alone. Set SSW to auto. Advanced options you can leave to default. You can use performance overlay at the bottom to test your FPS. Tip 5. It is strongly recommended for MetaQuest users to use Open Composite Runtime for performance gains. If virtual desktop is not working good for you, try AirLink. Virtual desktop is not compatible with Open Composite, so you must use Link or AirLink. I used AirLink and received a huge FPS leap when playing Skyrim VR. I will show you what settings to use in Oculus app, and I also have a great app for you to force Open Composite runtime and make sure it's running.
tip six. Great news. The hard work is behind us. We are almost done. Open your PC VR game. Go to graphic settings once loaded. I'm using Blade and Sorcery. Not all games will have the exact same settings. Set render scale to 1. Set MSAA to disabled. Set texture quality to low to medium depending on your PC. Set ocean quality to low. Leave the shadows at 30M. Tip 7. Oh my gosh, this is the last one, you guys, and it's just as easy and quick as I am. Just kidding. Go into Start Menu and search Bar. Choose Game Bar Settings. Once there, turn Game Bar off. That's it. All of these tweaks and settings will yield you smooth gameplay, even if it's not VR. If you made it this far, just want to say thanks for watching, and it really makes me happy if I can help. Let me know if this video helped you or not. Like or comment below.